Hey guys, I'm going to show you every seasonal skin that has been released in this game since Operation Black Ice. So starting off with obviously the Black Ice seasonal skin, this was released in Operation Black Ice. You could buy it um, for individually for each weapon or you can buy it for the entire CTU. For example, like you can buy the FBI SWAT Black Ice set. Um, you can buy the GIGN Black Ice set and so on and so forth so this is obviously a very hyped seasonal skin um this is the only seasonal skin that has been returned to alpha packs so you can still get black eye skins from alpha packs which is very interesting um i don't believe um they will you know add any other seasonal skins to alpha packs but who knows ubisoft can do anything you know you never know but uh yeah um this is a very according to a lot of people this is a very attractive skin especially on certain guns um but for now we're going to show all the seasonal skins only on the r4c because ash op i guess i don't know so glacier is technically not a seasonal skin well it is a universal skin that was released during or as a pro league um during operation black guys and technically this is called pro league s1 grade 4 because this is you know grade 4 of the Pro League skins, but it's still a universal, and I guess you can call it a seasonal. So yes, it's a very cool skin. Um, and I think that concludes all the seasonals that were released during Operation Black Guys. Okay, moving on. This next season is Operation Dust Line. So I believe there's only one seasonal skin. Well, the new Pro League sets released, but I'm going to talk about those later. Um, I'm going to focus more on seasonal skins for now. So obviously this is a dust line seasonal and it looks different on certain weapons, obviously. Um let's say um this is the R4C, what it looks like. Let's go on to the LED5. Yeah, look it the look of it varies between the weapons, um, obviously, but for now we're just gonna focus on the R4C, like I said earlier. The next, I think they also I guess racer packs were a seasonal. So the next up is Skull Rain. So Operation Skull Rain, I think they released four seasonals, am I if I'm correct? No, I think it's just two seasonal. No, it was it was four. So obviously there's the Skull Rain skin. This is also a seasonal. Um I like the textures of it. Very nice. Next is Piranha. This is also a very nice skin. You know, obviously has the orange Piranha. This is a very rare skin, very hyped up one. Next is Azulejos. Not a very popular skin, but came out Operation Skull Rain, so I guess it's pretty cool. The texturing is pretty nice. And then Amazonia. This is... Um, I guess it's a pretty underrated skin. Not a lot of people know about it, but it obviously released during Operation the Skull Rain. So, the next operation is Operation Red Crow. So, Operation Red Crow brought four seasonals and, again, the same well, Pro League skins, but we're going to focus on the seasonals. The first one I'm going to show you is Akino Tsuru. This is my favorite. Um... Yeah, this is one of my favorite seasonal, I think, of all time. I'm not sure. I just like... It's just... I, I just like the overall black theme. Black, red, and gold theme. And I like the bird. Um, Yeah, it's a very, very nice skin. Um, The next skin is Onami. Obviously, this is kind of like... Kind of resembles the... The Tsunami painting. Um, This is a very hyped skin as well. It's very clean. Kind of has a sandy beach vibe to it. Overall, very, very popular. And then there is the Ryuko skin. This is also one of my favorites. All, obviously, it's still very clean. So, And then there is Fujin Raiju. This is probably not that good of a skin. But it's a seasonal, so I'm going to show it to you anyway. 
Moving on to year two, we start with Operation Velvet Shell. Again, we have four seasonal skins that release. So the first of all is Chupinazo. Um, this is more well known as the Red Bull skin, but overall this is a very hyped seasonal. Um, a lot of people like this skin. Um, I know a couple people who rock it. And yeah, it's a very nice skin. Very cool decals. I like the shatter effect on the other half of the gun. And yeah, so overall nice skin. Um, next is Leon Ferioso. So um, this is one of my favorite skins actually. It has kind of like, um, I guess I can call it a carbon fiber. No, it's more like some type of gift wrapping i don't know it's some type of t I, I really like the textures to it i really like the manchester symbol um i like the colors pink blue it's um overall very nice skin for me uh next is cross fader so this is in my opinion one of the more underrated skins it's a very overall clean skin obviously this kind of has that cross fade effect to it fading from pink to black and i really like it because it has this like purple accent to the weapon skin i really like it, it kind of like makes the inside of your barrel purple um and also some other elements purple but overall very nice skin and then there's El Dorado. This is, I guess, a more like a rugged type of skin. Not my favorite, but hey, it's a seasonal, so. All right, moving on to Operation Hell. Okay, um, moving on to Operation Blood Orchid. So during Blood Orchid, we got four seasonal skins. We first got a red silk. I really like this skin because of the cherry blossom and the gold accents. Um, this is also another hyped skin. Um, you'll see some YouTubers rock this skin. It's overall very nice, very nice. Next we got white dragon. White dragon is also a very clean skin. You'll see, I, I don't really see this or see that many People run the skin, but it's a very clean skin. I think, and I think your boy Roy rocks this skin very clean. Have it has a little dragon on the bottom right. Overall, very clean. And there's Plinky's Arcade. This is reminiscent of Theme Park, as you can see the little cat right there. Some um, you'll see this decal on the Theme Park map. And there's Dynasty. So Dynasty is, I think it's an overrated, or underrated skin rather. It's, I really like the texturing, like the little scales and the dragon decal. But overall, all of these skins are very nice. Moving on to Operation White Noise. So, again, actually there were more seasonals that were released this season. Let's just go over some. So Husaria was one of them. Um, this is... I feel like this skin would be more popular if more people used it. But I think it only really looks good on the R4C. Um, but overall, it looks pretty clean. Um, let's move on to the Phoenix. I really like this design. I love the Phoenix and its um, multicolor design um i wish they could have chosen a better texture and over like a better color tone this is like the the green the drab green and the i don't know what that is brass is kind of dull and scuffed but overall it's pretty good um the next one is tiger claw um i actually really like this design it's very unique um, I like the Korean decals on the barrel of the gun. I like the tiger, obviously. They did very well on the textures. Overall, very good design. And then Alembic. This is, I low-key think this is kind of what, this is very similar to the Steel Wave, what's it called? The Steel Wave Battle Pass 
skin. Tell me I'm wrong, but uh, it's very okay. It's not exactly the same, but this is just an overall bronze. And then we have, I think that's, yeah. And then we have the Chinese New Year skin called Loyalty. This is a very hyped skin. Um, I like it. I like the texturing to it. It's a very nice skin. And then next we have Sleigh Ride. This is the 2018 Christmas skin. Am I? I hope I'm not wrong about that, but this is one of the Christmas skins that came out available as a seasonal skin. I really like it. I like the ref uh, kind of like the reflectiveness of the red. And yeah, overall great skin. Moving on to year three, we start with Operation Chimera. So this is kind of a weird season. Um, I think, I guess we have four seasonals again, but technically I don't know which ones you got through the alpha pack. I think both of these, the Operation Code Red or Outbreak Code Red and Retro Steel, but I'm pretty sure you were able to buy Rusty Trigger and Ancestral Southwest. But yes, this, this is Retro Steel. I think it's pretty nice. It's very clean. Um, next, we have Operation Code Red. Or I keep saying Operation Outbreak Code Red. Um, well, it's very red. And it has the Outbreak logo. So I guess it's pretty clean. But I, in my opinion, I think the Year 3 skins are a lot less appealing in comparison to year one and year two skins but you'll see in a second especially oh my god i don't really like any of the year four skins but again you'll see um later this is ancestral southwest more of a rugged kind of like a wood leather i don't even know what the, i don't even think i'm right but it's a seasonal moving on from that we have a parabellum um, with Parabellum, we got four seasonals. We got SPQR, Renaissance, Carnival, and Ancient Marble. Let me just go through each of them one at a time. SPQR, I guess this one is pretty cool. I wish that they used better. Eh, they used better textures and they kind of lightened up the overall color color scheme. But I think. This is supposed to resemble some type of Roman, ancient Roman type of armor style. I could be wrong. That's Someone told me that. I don't, I'm not sure I'm, if I'm right. This is obviously Renaissance. Kind of has a, a little scripture or script, whatever, writing on it. Overall, pretty clean. I don't like Renaissance. Um, Carnival. This kind of like has, I don't know, has, it kind of has influences of architecture. I don't know what type of art architecture, but kind of has an influence from that. Not a fan of it. And we have ancient marble. Of course, it's, I guess it's supposed to be made out of marble. Anyways, moving on. We have Operation Grimsky. Okay, so Operation Grimsky, the seasonals are actually pretty nice. Uh, we have Whitehall 1212. This is known as the police skin. I think it's pretty clean. And then we have Spitfire. This is all obviously resembles the Hereford base. Um, the map that was reworked for Operation Grimsky. And then we have Sovereign. I don't know what this is from. I guess this one's really clean. I actually rocked this in a few of my videos. Pretty clean, pretty clean. And then we have Majesty. This one is my favorite. This, in my opinion, this is the only year three skin that looks actually decent. I like the floral decals and the overall reflectiveness of it i love reflective skins or like you know type of like metallic skins they're my favorite and then we have ectoplasm i think this came out this is the halloween seasonal this is the yeah this came out with the first halloween event which was during grim sky 
I... Some people like it. I don't really... I'm not really into these type of skins, but... Hey, you're into what you're into. Now, we have Operation Wind Bastion. So, we had a lot of seasonals that came out during the season. Um, let's just go one at a time. Uh, we have... Let's see. We have Terracotta. I think this was pretty... Pretty cool. I like the... I guess that's black. I, I like the black accents, I guess. Um, obviously, this is influenced by the Fortress um, map, which came out with this season. And then we have Baroque Exalted. This one's actually pretty okay. I'm not... I wouldn't rock it. Like, I wouldn't like it. I don't really like it, but it's not a bad skin. And then I think after Baroque Exalted, we have, wait, one, two, is that it? No, obviously we have Gingerbread, which is the Christmas skin. I like it. And then we have the Year of the Pig skin, which is another very good Chinese New Year skin. This is yeah, 2019. Very nice, very or yeah, 2019. And then obviously I wouldn't count volcano because that was a that was a year past skin. I guess it's a seasonal, but I wouldn't really count it. And then we have signature six 2019. This is obviously the SI 2019 skin. You got this from little um pass. And I think that's it. I have less memory of the more recent skin, obviously, but um, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess that's it. Moving on, we have um, we're going into year four. I'm not gonna really go into detail with these because I don't really like any of them. But if you like them, I'll show you them anyway. We have um, Operation Burnt Horizon. During the season, we got four seasonals. We got Planted Floral. And then we had um, Ocean's Teeth. This was a pretty popular one for some reason. I like it, I guess. It's pretty clean. But again, there are better, better seasonals. Um, and then we have Crocodilus. Crocodilus? Kind of like a crocodile theme to it. And then we have Board Cove in Austral? Wait a minute. No. Okay. I got this whole, whole thing. I'm pretty sure Painted Floral came out in Wind Bastion. I'm wrong. Guys, that came out in Wind Bastion. Okay. So in Wind Bastion. Okay. Let's go back. Wind Bastion, you got Terracotta. You got. Signature 6, Painted Floral, Gingerbread, Baroque Exalted. And obviously you have the Gingerbread and Year of the Pig. That all came out of Wind Bastion. Moving on to Burnt Horizon, we have Austral, Board Cove, Crocodilus, and Ocean Sea. Okay, I think I'm on track. So Board Cove, honestly, this is kind of like... I don't know, kind of like a fishing type of theme to it. Obviously, this has like an Australian um, influence. And I think that's it for that one. Moving on, we have Operation Phantom Sight. We have the Waffle Cone skin, Strike Force, um, Secret Star, which is another kind of like a police skin. And Destroyer. So let's look at the first one, Waffle Cone. This is a very fun skin. I like this one when it released, I guess. Um, I didn't really play during year four that much, but hey, it's a pretty fun skin. Then we have Strike Force. Kind of like a. I don't know what this is from. It's kind of like a metallic type of uh, skin. Then we have Secret Star, 
Obviously, another police skin. Some people are a fan of this. I'm not that. And then we have Destroyer. Um, some people call this underrated. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to these skins, like I said. Moving on. After that, we have Operation Ember Rise. So, I think we only got two seasonals, which is surprising. We had Eternal Sun. And then we had Eternal Wind. I don't know who's into these skins. I personally think they're very ugly. But, hey. Whatever, man. And then we are on Operation Shifting Tides. Um, I think we have only a seasonal? I could be wrong. Palace Virtue, I think. And then we have, obviously, Signature 6 2020. We have Year of the Rats, which is the Chinese New Year skin. Pretty ugly. And we have Winter Knitting. Which is the Christmas skin. And yeah, I think that's it with year four. I could double check in my list. And yes, I have a list. Let me look up shifting tides. Shifting tides. No, Vessel Wave was a seasonal. Really? I didn't even know that. This is a seasonal skin. Okay. Well. Okay, so moving on to year five. This is River Scale. This is from Void Edge. Um, I don't really have this uh, skin on my account, so I'm using my friend's account to look at these. Another skin from Void Edge is Deco Artistry. Um, I guess this one's okay. Um, it was from the one of the events, the shotgun event. And then we have, I think that's it. I don't really have. I think I have one more skin. It's um, Saber Carve. But there's one more skin called Clog Dance. I don't have that. But I doubt anyone's gonna be interested in that one. So, like. Guess I'm not showing it. Um, let's move on to Steel Wave. We have the Battle Pass skin, obviously Velveteen. Um, there's also the Beach Trip skin, which I have used in a lot of videos. And then there's Wooden Carvings. I don't use that one that much, but um, I guess here it is. If you haven't seen it yet. There's also the Particle Robotics. So that's like from the Mute Protocol event. But I don't have that since it was only an Alpha Pack, so... Oh well, and then Shadow Legacy date, we have Penumbra Cells. Pretty sure a lot of you have seen this already. And then Neon Dawn, obviously we have the Christmas skin, which is Vintage Festivity. Pretty much a downgrade from the past Christmas skins, but that's alright. And then we have Gold Impact. Um, there is a Chinese New Year skin coming out soon, but I can't show that you that in the moment. But you will see it in, you know, next month or two. So, anyways, that's it for skins. Um, I hope you all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see y'all in best of 2020. All right, see you guys.